on November 9th, 2023, the world was introduced to the trailer for Pixar's Inside Out 2. Now, I already know that the haters are going to come out of the woodworks and say that this movie is just a cash grab and that Pixar is desperate to find any sort of success. But I just can't jive with that hogwash. Inside Out 2 looks like a massive improvement over the original, and I'm sure that it has absolutely no chance of going woke. Now, sure, some people may say that the original Inside Out didn't need a sequel, but to them I say, shut your negative ass is up, because if Inside Out 2 doesn't end up being as awesome as it looks now, I'm gonna have a psychotic break and start beating the shit out of everybody in a 12 mile radius. I'm at the point to where I literally cannot stand one more crappy cartoon from Disney. My woke abenus just can't take anymore. But why exactly does Inside Out 2 look so good? And why shouldn't anybody ever criticize it in any way? Well hi, I'm the PNG Tuber, and today we're gonna explain why Inside Out 2 looks totally awesome. Awesome. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the story of Inside Out 2. Now, Pixar is well known for their creative, thought-provoking, and unpredictable stories, which is exactly why I can already tell you what the plot of this movie is going to be. Okay, so basically, it's gonna start off with a time jump of like three or four years, so that Riley is a teenager now, and they can make jokes about Gen Z being full of mentally stunted dumbasses. And don't forget about the multiple uncomfortable jokes that they're gonna make about bodily functions. That's gonna be so fucking funny that I can already feel myself choking on a popcorn kernel in the back of the theater. And then they're going to introduce some new emotions that will largely add nothing to the plot, and then they're gonna go on a wacky adventure and bring back old characters like Bang Bong, so that they can try to remind people of a better movie. And then they're going to eventually realize some aspect of human psychology in a completely unrealistic way, which is perfectly fine, because this is just a cartoon that neither kids or adults are going to be able to fully understand. And then the movie will end with a pop song like, you're hot and you're cold, you're yes and you're no, you're in and you're out, or something like that. And then there's gonna be a post credit scene featuring that Mexican guy from Coco, who meets up with the emotions and tries to get them to join the unnecessary Pixar sequel initiative. <laughs> wow, they should definitely give those writers a raise. With an awesome plot like that, there's no way that this movie is going to fail at the box office like every other Pixar movie since 2020. So with that said, Inside Out 2 looks like it's going to be the best animated movie of 2024. That is, unless there's some other praiseworthy animated movie that's coming out that I'm currently unaware of. I'm sure that this movie won't disappoint me in any way through wokeness or a shitty plot or annoying characters, or preachy messages, or the inclusion of dimption liberal propaganda, or else I'll run away into the woods and become the next Unabomber. Anyway, I'm a DPNG Tumor, impatiently waiting for Pixar's Inside Out 2 to release in theaters, and signing off. Bye!